Welcome to a lesson comparing one-to-one -one and onto matrix transformations. Let's first focus on the first two properties of both one-to-one -one and onto transformations. A transformation is one-to-one -one if t of vector x equals vector b in Rm has at most one solution vector x in Rn. Or maybe a simpler way to state the same thing would be to say every vector b in Rm has at most one corresponding input vector x in Rn. A transformation t is onto if t of vector x equals vector b in Rm has at least one solution vector x in Rn. Or another way to state this would be to say every vector b in Rm has at least one corresponding input vector x in Rn. Notice the only difference between the definitions of a one-to-one -one transformation and an onto transformation is for a one-to-one -one transformation, every vector b has at most one corresponding input vector, and for an onto transformation, every vector b has at least one corresponding input vector. If we take a look at the mappings below, the three vector b's in Rm have either one corresponding input vector or zero corresponding input vectors, and therefore it does satisfy the definition, and therefore it does satisfy the definition of the vectors in Rm having at most one corresponding input vector, and therefore this is a one-to-one -one transformation. However, notice it does not satisfy the requirement for an onto transformation because every vector b does not have at least one corresponding input vector in Rn. Notice this middle vector here does not have a corresponding input vector, and therefore the transformation is only one-to-one, -one, not onto. If we take a look at the second transformation, the two vectors in Rm have either one or two corresponding input vectors, and therefore the transformation is not one-to-one -one because for one-to-one, -one, every vector b in Rm can have at most one corresponding input vector. So the transformation is not one-to-one, -one, but it is onto because Again, the two output vectors do have at least one corresponding input vector. The first one has one corresponding input. The second one has two corresponding inputs. The second transformation is onto, but not one-to-one. -one. And now looking at the third mapping, notice how both vectors in Rm have exactly one corresponding input vector. And therefore, it does satisfy both conditions for every vector b in Rm having at most one corresponding input vector, as well as every vector b in Rm having at least one corresponding input vector. This last mapping is both one to one and onto. And now let's take a look at the additional properties of one to one and onto transformations. A transformation is one to one if the columns of the m by n transformation matrix are linearly independent. A transformation is onto if the columns of the n by n transformation matrix span Rm. A transformation is one to one if the transformation matrix, matrix A, has a pivot in every column, and a transformation is onto if matrix A has a pivot in every row. A transformation is one to one if the range of T has dimension n, but notice n is a number of columns in the transformation matrix, and a transformation is onto if the range of T has dimension m, or m is the number of rows in the transformation matrix. When determining whether a matrix transformation is one-to-one -one or onto, we often use number four, where if we write the transformation matrix in row echelon form or reduced row echelon form, if there is a pivot in every column, then the transformation is one-to-one. -one. If there isn't, it's not. And if there's a pivot in every row, then the transformation is onto. If there isn't, it's not. Let's take a look at a couple of examples of this. We were asked to determine if each matrix represents a one-to-one -one transformation and onto transformation, both or neither. So we were given matrices A through D, and I've already written each of them in reduced row echelon form. Looking at the reduced row echelon form of matrix A, notice how we have a pivot in row one, column one. Notice how we do not have a pivot in every column or a pivot in every row, and therefore the transformation is not one-to-one -one and also not onto. So we'll go ahead and state neither. Looking at the reduced row echelon form of matrix B, we have a pivot in row one, column one, and row two, column two. Notice how we do have a pivot in every column, but we do not have a pivot in every row. 
because we have a pivot in every column, we have a one-to-one -one transformation, but not an onto transformation. Looking at the reduced row echelon form of matrix C, we have a pivot in row one, column one, and row two, column two. We do not have a pivot in every column, but we do have a pivot in every row, and therefore the transformation is not one-to-one, -one, but the transformation is onto. And finally, looking at the reduced row echelon form of matrix D, we have a pivot in row one, column one, as well as row two, column two. Notice here we have a pivot in every column and every row, and therefore the transformation is both one-to-one -one and onto. When we have a transformation that is one-to-one -one and onto, we can say the transformation is an isomorphism, or that we have an isomorphic transformation. I hope you found this helpful.